What you guys got another video here for you on fixing the video underscore TDR underscore failure. Now this is a graphics problem and I'm going to show you how to try and resolve this in this video. So if you're receiving blue screen of deaths just like this one, then this video is for you. It's a pretty common problem with uh, graphics cards. Let's take a look at what we got. Here. So first off, what you want to do is make sure that you're not overclocking your graphics card. Make sure you put it back to default settings. Overclocking can cause instability and also blue screen of death and also cause other problems with your graphics. Another thing we're going to do here is basically download the drivers for our graphics card. Now, whether that's an Intel graphics card, AMD or NVIDIA, you need to download the graphics drivers for that card. The reason why we need to download a new driver is because the graphics card driver could be corrupt or it could be causing a problem. So what we need to do is download the correct driver. You can either download it from AMD's website, NVIDIA's website, or Intel's website, depending on what type of graphics card you've got and the manufacturer make. You can go through the list here and download the correct driver for yourself. Now, generally Windows 10 will download and install the graphics driver for you. Unfortunately, this is not always the latest driver and there could be some sort of problems. There has been problems in the past where Windows 10 has installed a driver and it's causing issues. So it's best to go to the maker's uh, manufacturer website, which is either Nvidia or AMD or Intel or whoever it is that's created your graphics card and download the driver from there. You can either use the automated driver updating tool or you can use the manual method. I would prefer the manual method. Just select your graphics driver that you've got and then basically download that driver and keep it on your PC. And then once we remove it by using uh, DDU, we can then go ahead and install the latest driver. I'll show you how to do it after downloading this driver here. So once you've got your graphics drivers downloaded, you're going to need to download DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller. This tool is a really good tool for removing all of the remnants of a driver from your PC. You can see it's very straightforward and easy to do. I'll show you the whole process, but basically go down to the bottom here and choose the location near where you live and hit the download button. And basically that will come down automatically. Steer clear of these little green download buttons. They're just adverts. And uh, basically, once you've got those, you can extract this and put it into the folder where your driver is. OK, time to get into safe mode. So hold the left shift key down on your keyboard and restart your system. Continue to hold the left shift key down until you get to choose an option. And then we can go to uh, the troubleshooting tab here. Click on troubleshoot. And then once we click on troubleshoot, we can go to advanced options here. Click on advanced options, and then you should see uh, startup settings. So in the advanced options, click startup settings, and this will then reboot your computer. So you need to hit restart because this is going to allow us to get into safe mode. So once we restarted, you can choose enable safe mode uh, on the option there, which is either option four, or you can in enable uh, safe mode with networking, which is option five. This will automatically restart the system and bring you straight to this window here where you're going to log into uh, Windows in safe mode. You should see safe mode in the corner and the screen should be black. That means you are in safe mode. Open up the folder where you downloaded your DDU and uh, we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator. This will open up a box like so. And then all we need to do here, once the display driver uninstaller is open, we need to go and select a device. So audio or GPU, we're going to go for GPU here and select a driver that you want to install, NVIDIA, AMD or Intel. We're going NVIDIA because that's what I've got on this system. Once you've got that, you should see clean and uh, restart and highly recommended. You can go to the options tab here as well if you want to and select some options here. There is one that says prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update when search a driver for this device is enabled. So basically what will happen is Windows will automatically try to search and download the latest uh, graphics driver for you. If you want to prevent that, you can put the tick in that box there and it will stop that from 
happening and it will allow you to install the driver yourself. If you don't want to tick that, then that's fine. You can just hit clean and restart, which is highly recommended and will uninstall the driver and all the remnants of that driver from your computer. It will automatically restart the PC once it's removed it. And you can see it's now starting to remove all of the uh, driver and traces of that driver from this computer. So just let that do its thing. Once that's done, it will automatically restart the system. So you can see it's starting to remove all of the registry files. It's doing a little registry cleanup here and it's ending this now and it will restart this system and take us back to the desktop. And you can then install your driver. Now, if you haven't done anything about Windows installing your driver, it will automatically go out and download and install the driver for that graphics card. So bear that in mind if you want to install the driver yourself without Windows interfering with that. So we're going to run the driver now and click yes to install. Click OK here and let the display driver install. This is the one we downloaded earlier. So just let that unpack and install onto the computer. Now, hopefully we've got no issues with uh, the previous driver being installed or partially installed still on the computer. So all the remnants have been removed. And now we're installing a fresh new copy of the display driver. Now, of course, if the display driver has got issues or known issues, you may want to use the previous driver instead of the very latest driver. And if you're using a beta driver or anything like that, then you may want to uninstall that as well and use a proper, a proper driver that is stable. So that's just uh, loading up the NVIDIA graphics here and it will do a search and it will start to install that driver. I won't bore you with that part, but basically it's going to install the driver and hopefully that rectifies your problem. If you're still having issues after you've done this, there's a couple of more things we can try here. Go to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box and type in this little uh, window here. We're going to type chk dsk space forward slash f and then space c colon. The c colon is where our Windows uh, files are stored on our C drive. If yours is different, you can choose a different letter. Normally it is C. S a click on there and say wifey yes, and you will need to restart your computer for the check disk to work. So let's go ahead and restart the PC and let that check disk do its thing. So we're going to do a quick restart here. And once we restart, it should automatically start to run check disk for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So just let that do its thing. It's just going to be loaded in here and you should then see the check disk come up on screen here. So don't touch the keyboard at this stage. Uh, we don't want to skip it. We just want to let it run a quick check disk here to see whether it finds any problems. So just let that run. And uh, that shouldn't take too long. There's only a few stages here to check. And you can see here up to the 601. 036 we've got to go to that's 75 percent done the more extended check disk does five stages which does take a fair bit of time this is just the quick check disk stage here so we'll just let this run through and it's 80 percent now now once we've done this we can then move on to other things if we're still having issues and i'll show you what to do after this one Okay, so it's done a quick three stage check there. It's now going to scan in and repair in any sort of issues. Do a little Windows update here. And then it's going to move back to the desktop. There we go. So once we get to the desktop, we'll be able to do some other checks on maybe memory and maybe some registry tweaks here. So let's go ahead and uh, do this one next. So inside the search box, Type in mdsched.exe and this will open up the memory diagnostic tool here. So we're going to restart now and check for problems recommended. That is the top option here. Click on this and it will restart the system. There is more um, other advanced diagnostic tools here, but we're just going to run the basic diagnostic check tool here. If you want to go for some more options, you can push F1 and it will give you some more uh, longer scanning options available uh, but we're just going to do a quick scan here and let that run through and see if you get any errors if you do get errors then you have problems and you may want to investigate further
If it comes back all clean, we can move on to the next thing, which is inside registry editor. Type reg edit in the search box, and this will open up the registry editor. Inside here, we're going to go to H key local machine. And uh, after we go there, we're going to go to system. And then we're going to go to current control set. Inside here, go control. And then what we want to do here is inside the control folder, we're going to look for graphics drivers. There'll be a folder in here called graphics drivers, and we can create a couple of registry keys inside there. So let's go ahead and just look for graphics drivers here. I can see it right there at the bottom. So I'm going to click on this one. Now on there, we can open this up and on the right hand pane here, we're going to go new and D word 32 bit value. Click on this one here. Let's give it a name. So we're going to type TDR and then capital D and then D again, I D and then E L A Y. And then what we need to do is double click on this or right click and modify and give this a number or value of 20. We're going to do one more value inside here. So let's go ahead and right click, go new D word 32 bit value. Inside here, we are going to type here TDR and we're going to be putting delay like so. And again, just right click, modify or double click and we can then modify the value and give that a value of 20 as well. Click OK here and restart your PC and hopefully all of your problems have been resolved. If you're still having issues after this, a fresh install of Windows 10 and if you're still having issues after you've done a fresh install of Windows 10 and you're still having problems, then your graphics card is probably failing. And it may be time to start thinking about taking it to a PC repair shop and let him do a full diagnostic check of your PC to see what part of hardware is failing or whether it's the GPU that's failing. You can run Furmark uh, to see whether that um, makes it foul again. And if it does, then it's definitely your GPU. Also, another common problem is your power supply. If your power supply isn't powerful enough to drive that graphics card, you will end up with uh, crashing and things like that. So make sure that you have a sufficient power supply and make sure the power supply is also not failing. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Leave me a comment down below whether you like this type of content. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.